How do you carpet a staircase? In this video, I'm going to break it down for you. What's cracking? It's Carpet Mike here from Carpet Expert Blueprint, bringing you those tips, tricks, and strategies to be a mega success in the super thriving and popular carpet and flooring industry. Okay, exaggerating very heavily, but let's go ahead and carpet these stairs here. We need a kicker. We need an electric stapler. We need a knife and then some sort of creasable, whether that be a stair tool or a hook knife. So, we got our first step up. We're gonna stretch starting up in the middle here. Clackety clack, we're just gonna fire those staples in and our job is to get it tight and secure it right now. When it's all said and done, I'm not gonna show it in this video. You can go back over it and do all the creasing to go ahead and hide the staple divots and give it some nice crisp lines. But we're just gonna use this tacker to go ahead and create lines in the carpet and secure it to the step. This is the Cadillac style we're breaking down here. So Cadillac style, where you go ahead and tuck it up under the nosing of the step, staple it down, and then stretch away and staple the top as well. This gives it a little bit of pop, a little bit of form, and for you installers out there that are charging more for this, if you do this a little bit for free, the customers will actually give you more referrals. So look at it like this. You're trading 15 minutes of your time to go ahead and get thousands of dollars in referrals. That's a fact right there. So keep that in mind. I'm not saying shortchange yourself by any means. Get your bread every day. But little things like that, like, oh, yeah, no, I was giving you the Cadillac shed. No big deal. They're like, oh, my gosh, I'm going to tell all my friends about you. You're amazing and incredibly good looking. Now, I know most carpet installers won't get the follow-up line, but, yeah, I get that line all the time. I'm that dude. So let's go ahead and finish stretching this up, shooting it down. And when you start in the middle, you shoot it up, get it nice and tight, and then fan off to the left or the right. Just pick a side, shoot that up, and then shoot the opposite side of that, and then move on to the nosing of the stair. A lot of talks about shooting it up. We're not doing anything violent here. We just got to attack the carpet aggressively with staples there to make sure it's all nice and secure. See those little div divots we have in there? You're going to go back over those when it's all said and done. Give it a nice little crease and make sure those get blended in. Nice crisp lines. Clients love that stuff. So let's go ahead and reload that gap right there. Look at how much damage that thing has had. It's held together with zip ties. That's how you know it's got a little bit of experience thrown on that tacker gun. You know what I'm saying? But that's really all there is to it. Once again, a few tools. Kicker, electric stapler, knife and a creasable, whether that be your stair tool, hook knife, whatever, and then just fold and go, fold and go. You know what I'm saying? So any questions about the carpet and flooring industry, drop those down below. I'll probably create a follow-up video answering your questions for you. That's how we get down around here. As always, I truly appreciate you tuning into my nonsense. Thank you so much, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.